It's time for me to start what I consider one of the most challenging parts of this project, the roof. Initially, I thought I'd just replace the rusted sections of the roof, but the channel that the roof attaches to is extremely rusted out as well. So now my plan is to go topless and remove the roof and channel entirely. The channel runs around the perimeter of the roof. And from what I'm seeing, each panel has a small inward facing lip. The channel sits over this lip with a small overlap to the outside. The panel and channel are then spot welded together from the inside. The roof sits on the channel with an outer lip that's spot welded from the outside. My plan is to remove the inner spot wells and separate the roof and channel as one. Hi, I'm Lassie and I'm teaching people on metal shaping. One of Lassie's YouTube videos shows how you can create curved templates using a shrinker and stretcher. These templates will be critical when the replacement sections of the roof are made. While making these templates, it occurred to me that if I captured the curve with a contour gauge and transfer it onto my sheet metal, all I needed to do was stretch the outside until the line was straight, sort of reverse engineering the curve. This worked extremely well, and now I have the key templates I'll need for the roof. Because I don't know how long this repair will take, I spray painted the roof to avoid any further rusting. So let me show you what I'm dealing with here. This is the back of the van where the rear door is held on by magic and rust. There's a small section that possibly held on the door rubber trim that I'll need to remove. I decided that I'll need another contour template to help me when I make a replacement piece later. During my attempt to remove this, I realized that it wasn't necessary, that I can deal with it once the roof is off. All I really need to do is remove the door. And after trying to loosen the screws for a while, I opted out just to drill them out. I was able to get through most of the spot welds in this corner using sheet metal as a chisel. But at some stage of the van's life someone has done a brass weld here in the corner. And I've faced these before on the van and they're not easy to work with. I'm happy with my progress so far. I've got the rear door off, which means this section is done, and now I'm working my way around this corner. And so far it hasn't been too difficult. Most of the work was done due to the rust. And what I'm doing is welding in support sections as I go, to brace it, as the roof's the main part of the van's structure. 
I made an outer channel template to help me for when I reattach the roof. I noticed that the corner I just worked on has moved even though I braced it across the door. So I have to make something to fix this. So with that fixed, I continued on. There are more of these brass welds on this side of the van, which are more difficult than the spot welds to deal with. I was using a piece of sheet metal as my chisel to work through the spot welds, but this kept bending. So I found an old thin file and modified it, and this serves much better as a chisel. So this is how much I achieved for part one of the roof repair, maybe just under a quarter. <laughs> 